the bag takes about two and a half weeks to make, making it the most difficult one to be made. It is made of full leather and comes with two handles and zippered top. Can you believe that guys? Like two and a half weeks, why does it take so long? Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach my goal of 10,000 subs and I'm on the way guys, so thank you so much. I wanted to talk about underrated Hermes bags today that maybe not a lot of people know about. I feel like bags like the Picotin used to be really like not as seen on social media like probably pre 2017 era it was like more of a low-key if you know you know bag but now i feel like it's like one of those bags that are pretty recognizable if you watch a lot of luxury videos um i guess probably like back in the day the kelly bag was similar but now it's a very distinguishable style even though it has minimal logo but there are still so many Hermes bags that I feel like a lot of people wouldn't realize it's an Hermes bag, but they're really well made. Uh, probably can get them for really good deals on the pre-love market. Not all of them, but some of them. And they are actually really timeless classic bags that would last a really long time in your wardrobe. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, uh, what are your favorite lesser known Hermes bags? And I'm going to be going through some of those styles today. Oh my gosh. And I also wanted to share with you guys, I had a nightmare last night. It was so, like, I felt so sick when I had this nightmare, guys. Like, there was this guy near my bag wall and he was like, I'm like, what are you doing here? And he was like, oh, um, I'm just going to go now. And I, I don't know why he was here, but I looked at my bag wall and I was just like checking if they were all okay. And my, um, my Varu bag was all like opened up and it was like all... Like, the, the flap was all, like, open. I'm like, what happened here? And I, it was, like, up the top, so I, like, grabbed it. I don't know. For some reason, my shelf was, like, way bigger in my dream. And I was, like, going up the ladder and trying to grab it down. Oh, yeah, why was my shelf so big? Anyway, um, so I was, like, trying to grab it down. And then I looked at it, and the whole back, it's like he got a knife and, like, slashed the whole back of it. And I was like, oh, my God. And then I was, like, so upset and angry at him. I was like why did you scratch my bag and he's like and then like i woke up <laughs> and then i'm like oh my gosh like i have to take it to the bag spa now and then i was like wait a sec it was just a dream it's fine <laughs> but it was really brutally like slashed guys so anyways this bag does have scratches honestly but it wasn't like that like it was like he got a knife and slashed it so i don't know whether the dream was telling me there's like someone trying to get like out to get me or something or if i'm just very like OCD with bags. I don't know what it was, guys, but it scared me. So that was my dream. But anyways, let me put this back on the shelf. So the first underrated Hermes bag, I'm Caleb Snell. Uh, I'll link his channel below. He has um, an amazing Kelly 35. It's so beautiful. Watch his channel as well. Um, He said he'd love a white bus bag. Now, I was like, what is a white bus bag? So I'm like, is I was imagining like a white Hermes bag of some sort, but I googled white bus bag and I've totally seen this tote before. I didn't realize it was called white bus um, on eBay and that sort of thing. I've seen it for a variety of different prices. Sometimes it's like pretty affordable, like, you know, like around the thousand dollars mark. And sometimes it's like four thousand dollars. So this bag, I feel like it's very under the radar, but it's giving me like similar kind of tote Birkin vibe because it is got the same kind of curve to it so this is a Birkin here see how it's got like a bit of a curve to it it's basically like this is a white bus bag it's basically like this curve but with none of the frills that a that an Hermes Birkin has I found one on fashion file in like a Berenia leather in fauve um, from the year 2000 in the size 40. I think the white bus also comes in a size 32 size and it could be a good little like piece to pick up if you're unsure about buying a Birkin but you want to get a feel for Hermes leather and just uh, I don't know you want to start collecting Hermes bags or something like this could be a cool bag just to test out if you'll use like a kind of bigger tote bag and yes I thought this was a great suggestion. Um, it comes in a variety of colors as well. I'm not sure I have to do some some more research as to when this bag actually came out but there is some from the 2000s era that you can hunt down pre-loved so thank you Caleb for that suggestion uh just read said the 2002 bag is like an underrated constance the 2002 bag initially I thought did it come out in 2002 but 
No, apparently this bag originally came out in the 70s. Maybe it was a bag designed to uh, like foreshadow what bags would look like in 2002. And it has a similar look to a Constance, uh, but instead of having that big H at the front, it's got more of a rounded circular H shape that doesn't look as much like an H, but it kind of is an H. Um, logo. Now this bag was reissued as well I think around 2017 and it was offered in a lot of really funky colors like Magnolia. Oh my gosh that one is so pretty but if you want to pick this bag up um, for a better price you could even go for a box calf vintage style. The um, it, it comes in a few sizes as well I believe similar to a constant bag and it has the similar compartments. It's also a little bit similar to a Ruli bag which I have here so when you open it up it has the the two compartments like this the middle slot and the back and the front and yes it it is like a variety of prices as well in the pre-love market but it is one probably less people would be looking for so you might be able to snap it up for a good deal it's also a little less recognizable than a constant so if you don't love how um, some people say the constant look, looks a bit obnoxious or a bit in your face which I don't know it's kind of grown on me the Constance bag but this one is a little bit more low-key and you could probably find it for a much better price pre-loved than a Constance which usually goes for uh you know depending on the age it can go for a lot more so let me know guys what you think of the 2002 bag it's actually not been a bag that I've looked at buying pre-loved I actually really would like a Constance to be honest in the future but I'm loving my Rulie so that's an also a kind of a good option to go for. Ms. Melbourne says, uh, now I know about it thanks to you. It's the trim bag. So I've talked, I blabbed on enough about the trim bag in my previous videos, guys. I just unboxed a trim bag in my last video. Um, I have it here. Uh, this is a trim 35. It's a, like a classic hobo style from Hermes uh, with this little thingy here. It's very similar to the uh, Jackie bag, but they came out at a very similar time. Uh, and they were both designed in the 50s. Um, I have a feeling the Hermes trim came out before the Jackie bag uh, but you know it's always a bit who knows kind of thing so yeah this bag I feel like it's something you can pick up like I picked up mine up for like a thousand three hundred Australian dollars so you can pick these up for really good deals the more modern day one in the 24 uh, like the one that's crossbody that one is a lot higher in price because it's a newer adaptation of the trim bag but if you want to go for one from like the 2000s or even a vintage one you can pick them up for pretty good deals sometimes like I'm talking under 2000 Australian dollars and I feel like you get a real like especially the 35 like you get this giant piece of Togo leather um it just like for the price of the bag you're like this leather in it's like just buying this leather in itself would be rather expensive uh, let alone all the craftsmanship you get from Hermes so I think it's actually a really good deal uh to pick up a trim bag now and I wouldn't be surprised if more people hop onto this bag as well Ingrid and three said the Gayo Hobo bag, particularly the canvas with leather trim. Okay, so the, the Gayo bag I've also touched on in, in one of my previous videos, but it's actually a, a bag. I'm not actually sure exactly when it came out, but I've seen versions on the pre-love market in uh, different kinds of leather. There's also canvas one with the Berenia trim, which, which you mentioned, Ingrid, which you can pick up for pretty good deals as well. Um, this year I saw on the runway, they've reissued the Gayo bag with this really cool like pocket and little dangle on it. So it's definitely a silhouette that is coming back on trend again. So yes, I think if you love finding a good deal um you could definitely go for the vintage version or the older version of the gayo bag as opposed to the new one from the boutique the new one from the store like with the pocket and the dangle does look awesome i'm not gonna lie i do prefer it to the older ones because it just has a little bit more interest happening but the uh older styles they're a lot more minimal very chic like a very if you know you know bag I'm sure hardly anyone will recognize this bag when you're wearing it out and about but you'll get to experience like um you know that kind of low-key Hermes look and it looks like a very practical style as well 
Uh, okay, so Lumi and Hermie suggested the steeple bag. Now, this bag I'm a bit on the fence on. Honestly, I kind of trash talked it in my uh, trash bags video. I'm not sure if I love it. It's a little bit underwhelming to me, but I went on the Hermes website and I had a little look at the description of it because they do have a page, which I love, which you can see all like 16 Hermes permanent collection bags that they currently have and you can click on each bag and see like get more details about like you know the features of the bag and they have the steeple bag on there now I'm not sure if the steeple bag is based on a vintage style I actually couldn't find out but um, it is a bag that Hermes currently sell. Um, I don't think it's that hard to get, but my favorite colors are definitely this like multicolor one and then the one with the horse head on it. I think anything with the funky prints on it, I really love. But the one that's like, I don't know, the other like plain colors are a little bit boring, but you can get some funky color combinations as well if you love, you know, something a bit more interesting. Um, and I do like how it comes with a bag charm. Um, it says it's a joyful ride, blending leather canvas steeple is filled with joy. This modern tote is both practical and playful, with details that pay homage to the rich equestrian heritage of Hermes. The perfect way to add a touch of joy to your daily routine. Okay, so it's a very joyful bag, according to Hermes. <laughs> Behind the steeple lies a single piece of canvas. Harmoniously blending with rich leather, it transforms into a chic tote through an innovative folding technique. A stylish metamorph metamorphosis that leaves a lasting impression. Okay. Well, they're really selling it to me, so <laughs> it's a bag filled with joy, apparently. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Do you have the steeple? Do you love it? I don't love how you can't really close it. Like, it's a very open tote, but I do love the rainbow one. Like, that one is really cute. So, if I was going to get one, I'd get that, but it is quite expensive for, like, I don't know, like a canvas bag. With that being said, I do have a her bag, which I really love. So I can see it being a really practical bag as well. I'm gonna wrap it up with one last one. And I think I'm going to make a part two to this video because I blabbed on a lot. So uh, Merce Purse, hi, if you're watching, uh, she suggested the plume bag. I would love a mini plume. I have been looking at mini plumes on the pre-love market for the last few years, but I haven't been able to find one for a good deal because anything mini is always harder to find for a good price. But I did a little bit of research on the plume bag and it is a bag that was released um, during the 60s uh, for traveling. P plume means feather and it is apparently a very lightweight bag. So as opposed to say a Victoria bag, which is quite heavy, or even like a Birkin 40, which is quite heavy. Uh, I've, I've actually picked up a plume before and it is a super lightweight bag. I really like one in a mini, as I, as I said before, but it does come in a lot of different uh, sizes. So I think the smallest is like 15 centimeters. It actually goes up to 50 centimeters, I've read. And it even comes in like exotic uh, variations. Actually, you can still buy the plume bag. There's currently one on the Hermes website website um in the men's section i think it's rather expensive did i take a photo it's literally like i don't know over fifteen thousand dollars maybe i remember i saw it, i was like wow it's expensive but it makes sense because it's a really big bag so if you do like the plume bag it is one that they still sell i don't know if they still sell it in the mini size probably not but you can get it in the men's department the mini one might have been something that they're going to bring back again in the future i mean that's what hermes usually do they like bring it back for a few years and then remove it and then bring it back again so um i would love a plume bag as well because i think it would be a really um handy style to have and apparently it takes a really long time to craft this bag as well apparently the bag takes about two and a half weeks to make making it the most difficult one to be made it is made of full leather and comes with two handles and zippered top can you believe that guys like two and a half weeks why does it take so long we have uh something similar like the Hermes Omnibus, which I really like this bag as well. You can get it for really good deals. It's a similar shape, but it's a bit more of a square. This one, um, the original one came out in the 70s, uh, but this one is a reissue from 2008. Um, I don't think you can get, you, can, you can't get the Omnibus in the boutique anymore, but you can definitely pick this up pre-loved as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my video today. I'll make another video about the same topic because a few of you guys suggested some more amazing Hermes bags which I didn't get to touch on today. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!